Hello everyone, it's Fine Steady, and we're going to be talking about if this little bear trend is over, if this was just a correction, or if this is just a bear market. There's two scenarios unfolding right now. One of them, we could be seeing a slightly further downturn of still another 50%, which would be horrible, but it's also looking, and this is most likely that we're out of this correction right now. So let's go ahead and look in the charts. As you can see here on the charts, I have this big, nice pattern drawn here in white, wet this to red support lines up here and support lines down here. And basically this is the Wyckoff distribution pattern, which I have butchered and overlaid over a chart here. And as you can see here, I've drawn it slightly differently. So I want you to look at the beginning here and the tail end here. Whereas if you look here, I have the tail end starting over here in this valley over here, right? So I've basically stretched this portion out because I think it might match a little bit better than what we've seen here. Now, then you get into the place of like, okay, it's 50-50, whether it matches the beginning or the or not. But what we are very, very sure about is over here at the end. And what we see here is once again, in the worst case scenario, when I draw it here, matching everything nicely, and I've charted now the worst case scenario, it would take us down to approximately this level here. So let's have a look and see where that would be. Well, that would be here around the 27,000 US dollar level, approximately. So basically our worst case scenario has now improved from 20K to about 25K. And I would say probably around here, I see a lot of traffic coming in. This looks like a pretty strong support level. So what do I have marked here? 8,800 US dollars would be the worst case scenario. And guys, check this out. If you look here on the chart, well, during this flash crash, look at what price we hit. We hit almost exactly here at the 30,000. So it's looking like this Wyckoff distribution pattern is already fulfilled and we've already hit the bottom of the pattern here, in which case this strong kind of uptrend that we see now to the 40,000 is a very bullish sign. Now, right now we're experiencing huge volatility, so I don't want to completely rule out a bearish situation anymore. And I do think we could be going down for another dip to this 25,000 US dollar mark. And if I'm wrong and the pattern is actually how it should be drawn here, well, in that case, we would be going all the way back down to the very beginning of the chart down here, which would take us to around the 20,000 US dollar levels, which would be, you know, very awful because that's a, another 50% drop from where we are now. But at that point, I am almost certain everything would stabilize. We would see kind of a sideways motion for a while until we were to see another big trend towards the upside. Because if we do come down to the 20K level, I see it as very unlikely that we do actually go into the bear trend just because we have so much institutional interest right now in Bitcoin. All the institutions would be absolutely salivating at the chance to buy Bitcoin at 20,000. And I think they would absolutely load the boat and we would see kind of a slight sideways correction for a while. And then when we have all the quarterly reports come out, we would just see the price absolutely start to skyrocket when we see, hey, all of the institutions are buying it. And guys, there's more confidence in the chart than just this Wyckoff distribution pattern. So let me go ahead and grab kind of a fresh chart here. And I want to show you that we actually had kind of a head and shoulders pattern. We had the right, the left shoulder here, the head here, then we had the left shoulder here. And guys, if I draw now the kind of price target for this, if we go ahead and we draw something like that and we take then from the top of the pattern to the neckline down here, we see that we've already hit the price target it almost exactly of this very unfortunate head and shoulders pattern because this price target was the same as the Wyckoff distribution pattern. So actually we could have just identified this head and shoulders pattern and based our analysis on that and we would have had the same effect here. And what it means is that right now the bearish signals in the chart are running out of power. There's no more kind of gas in the engine for the bears and we are most likely going to start to go back into an uptrend now on the Bitcoin chart. Whether we still see another big shakeout, well, it's very likely. At this price, we have a huge amount of volatility. Have a look here on the charts, just huge, huge swings almost every other day. Uh, and we could be seeing that happening for a little while, but I would say that this increased 
time of volatility that we would expect to see would be short-lived and we would be going back to the upside very soon as I explained before because of the institutional support here. So let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit and I want to show you what we have on the charts here in the very short term. And actually, now that I'm here, I do, I did just find a new pattern in the charts, which is absolutely amazing. I found here a symmetrical triangle. Now, I do want to say that the price targets from yesterday, we just kept faking out. Like, there was no breakout confirmation, so we kept flipping and flopping, and there was absolutely no way to tell, hey, are we breaking out now? Are, are we manifesting the pattern so we had kind of a bullish breakout which failed which is unfortunately not a good sign but this triangle here is much stronger and this triangle here is actually not what i wanted to talk about but this is way better so let's go with this instead and if we go ahead and we take kind of the top touch point to the bottom of the pattern here we have a bit of a fake out so i'm trying to be very conservative here and let me just draw that properly right around here and we go ahead and we have a look at what this breakout would be well this would be taking us back to around the 48,000 us dollar level which is getting close to a very high traffic area of the 52 to 54,000 us dollar level but uh, as of right now, we're still quite far away from that. So if we were to get back into this 48,000, this is another quite nice traffic zone between the 48 and the 52. We do have a lot of traffic. So if you look here, that would be between around, let me draw straight lines for you, around here and around here. You see just there is a lot of traffic in this little area. So if we do have a breakout now, and we do actually manage to confirm this bullish breakout, which would be by tomorrow in the very, very early morning and most likely tonight in the late evening, well, at that point, we might be going up. However, guys, however, because we have been having a lot of bearish breakouts lately, which have unfortunately been reaching the target, we need to talk about this too. And this would be taking us down to about the 35,000 US dollar level. And that is still likely, it's still possible. We really need to wait for the breakout confirmation for the volume to come in in order to make any kind of moves right now, because the volatility is so insane, unless you are like almost 100% sure of the trade, you have absolutely everything. You have the breakout, you have volume, you have confluence in the charts unless you have all of that i would say now is a pretty risky time to open any type of trades so let's go and wait for the chart to show us what's going to happen we're going to know by latest tomorrow morning so 8 a.m on the 22nd of may london time that would be the absolute latest so most likely sometime in the evening tonight we'll know what's going to happen in the short term for bitcoin so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. If you want these updates in the moment that they come out, make sure to press that subscribe button and hit the notification bell because the algorithm won't always show you the updates unless you press that bell. So it's very, very important. And if you want to go ahead and trade or just buy some crypto, go ahead and use my signup link down below. It's the link to Binance. You get about a 10% bonus on whatever you buy. So thank you guys so much. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.